Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and this is Jerry. He, he called over to see what kind of shirt I wore today. Yeah, I just want to be like you. I got you, you know, I took my name after you, so I just wanted to be dressed like you. All right, but I ain't wearing no cap. <laughs> I only wear a cap when I go to the bar. <laughs> Don't like that. Well, I'll tell you what, since uh, we're dressed like you do your deal, and I'll read the announcements. Okay, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> A call to Spencer Benedict Stables in Murfreesboro, 270-590-5285 or 270-590-5235 will provide the first step in breeding to one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry. World Grand Champion Mr. True Blue, a consistent blue ribbon winner with a stud fee of $1,000. Or select Amateur Show Pleasure World Grand Champion El Zaro Star, a constant winner in both open and amateur competition and has a multi-mare discount with a stud fee of $750. Both of these World Grand Champion stallions provide championship bloodlines with live full guarantees. Take that first step in adding another World Grand Champion in the walking horse industry. Make the call and make your selection. I fell in love with Tennessee from the second that I saw it. From the beautiful rolling hills to the beautiful rivers and streams, the ecosystem and the wildlife are awesome here. But it needs constant care, and that means picking up litter and trash every single chance you get. It's totally polluting the ecosystem, totally polluting the natural resources, and it's a big hazard for our local wildlife. Please join NobodyTrashesTennessee.com and join me in keeping Tennessee beautiful and keeping this part of our great legacy. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. All right, we got some announcements. East Tennessee Walking Horse Association Ladies Auxiliary is June the 15th in Sevierville, Tennessee. Contact Holly Dougal, 256-453, and I cut off the rest of that number. Messed it up, Jerry. Uh, judges, Nathan Reimer. Putnam County Show is June 15th also, and that's in Cookville. Contact Clay Rogers, 865-410-2396. Start time's 5 p.m. on that show. Bluegrass Classic, that's in Moorhead, Kentucky, located at Derrickson's Agriculture Complex. Aubrey Derrickson, 606-356-4189. Start time is 6 p.m. Arab Summer Classic, June the 15th. Arab, Alabama. Contact Jamie Bradshaw, 256-679-0013. Start time is 5 p.m. And Judge is Raleigh Beard. Judges haven't been announced for these other shows up here, except the one for Nathan. 
Belfast Lions Club is June 21st in Belfast, Tennessee. Call Nancy Lynn Green, 931-993-3187. Start time is 530, and Robert Courtney is the judge. So we got all that done. Yes. I'm going to tell you, you, you and I have been talking about the inspection process and everything. People need to start watching very close, especially when one of these VMOs starts taking that leg and pulling it back. Yes. To, or, or taking it out to the, I mean, if you put that horse's leg in an awkward position, it's going to move. Simple as that, it's going to move. And they're bad about doing it. They, they keep doing things. I watched them the other night on a young man leading the horse up there. She reached out and snatched the reins out of his hand and shoved them back at him and then started fussing. All they're doing is trying their best to get somebody in a position that they can say they're violent and doing things. I just tell them, say, hey, we'll see you in court. We just won't see you in your court. You know, the biggest thing with me is, Jerry, is this. We got, you know, different videos <clears throat> when they check the Salibrate horses and how the response that they got from the Salibrate yeah. horses, okay? Then you got videos of the Tennessee walking horses that didn't move nowhere near. You had to really pay attention to see them move. Right. But now they talk, call them horses out uh -huh. on a sore horse, a violent, you know, horse that yeah. broke a violation or whatever, right? I don't understand how you can do for one and you can't do for the other. Well, it, it, it's not do far, Jerry. They're doing it to us. Us, yes. And letting these others pass. But once they get us, they're going to do those others the same way, and those others, and, and I, I'm sorry, but I'm just telling you the truth. You ain't got enough sense to see it. It just, the, the USDA is, is right now, especially the BMO that was there this weekend, horses going in, calling them out on Scar Row, and an equine, a licensed Tennessee equine vet stood there and looked at the horse when he, and could not find the scar. If the scar is there for the BMO, it should be there for a licensed equine veterinarian. Makes me wonder what kind of shape the BMO is in. If they can't honestly inspect a horse without doing something to cause a problem. I'm sorry, that's it. If they're right, I'll defend them, but now they're, they're way out. They're yes. way out now. We got some video. Fun show. Boy, they had a good fun show. They did have a really Even good fun show. Even with the way that they were inspected. Yes. Here's title defense in Samantha Green for Evergreen Walking Horse Farm. That horse won again this weekend. Yeah, that's a good horse. Hey, Samantha rides that horse. horse very well. I mean, Miss Virginia, I'm so proud for her and Samantha. Riding a good horse like that, I mean, that's a real, that's a real talented horse right there. Samantha had won a lot of them classes with that horse right there. Oh, yeah. Well, she, she, I've talked to Virginia about Samantha. Samantha's like having a, a lady trainer yes, on your horse. Yes, that's right. I mean, she's that good a rider. Well, that is again, Samantha, both sides of the family is good oh, horse. Yeah. Jose Showoff and Caress Heineman. I tell you what, I know, I've, I've talked to, to Nancy and Tommy. This lady can flat she ride, can a, ride horse a horse now. now. She, can, she can get it done, she's right a, in the saddle. She's another person, when you, every time you see her, she got a smile on the face, you know, real Always. pleasant to talk to. And I mean, her mom and dad is real good people. And here is Big John Coffey, owner Beth Beasley. Four-year-old stallion canter winner. That's a nice horse. Too. Yes, it is. Just a super nice good, horse. Does a real good job with that horse. Beth and the girls are real nice people. I got to eat with them the other night at the whole house there in town. Right? Yeah, sat down and talked to them for a while. I tell you what, they they good people. With Greg. Greg, Greg's a pistol. Uh, yeah, he's. A, <laughs> I like talking to Greg now. He can tell you them stories, them old stories from back in the from, days. From all the way back. Yes. <laughs> Big John Coffee. 
Right here is Gigi's Majestic. You know, this, this horse right here has been in the winner's circle for years. Yes. He is, he is just a fantastic horse. And Elsie Bradford shows him a lot, and, and she's a constant winner with him. It's doing what you won't want to do right there. Yeah. That's what you're looking for on the pleasure horses. Well, we got one doing similar to that yes, right now. Uh -huh. just, just about there. Great thing about having a real good walking mare could make a real good brood brew mare. Brew yeah. And that's a real nice horse right there. Right here, King Pen and Bob Adcock. What more can you ask that's for, right. Bob? Bob's been winning quite a bit here lately, <laughs> but now he's got the stock to do it. Yeah, he got the stock to do it. I mean, it's almost like you said about that horse epic when you show it. What oh, else can you what else can you say about Mr. Bob right there? Hey. I mean he's if he he's comes in nice like he's gonna be on a good one. On a good one. He That's right. Hit. He's on a good one. That's uh, so. You can talk all day about him, but at the end of the day, you're gonna see him on a good horse. That's it. I tell you what, I've I've seen so many good horses here lately. Yes. Right there's another one. That's another one. Line. Yeah. Hey. And that's that's one fine lady there. Yes, it is. These people are good for the walking horse industry. And that, that's another thing that bothers me about the inspections is we have top quality people being treated more or less like criminals. Yes. By a department of our government. And some of the things that, it, that the BMO this weekend has said to people is unbelievable. Here's ladies' privilege. Thomas Derrickson from Missy and Tim Johnson. They bought them a brand new farm. Okay. Sure did. This is, this is a nice horse right here. And I'm oh, Lord, you, yeah. Thomas is doing a super job on working, showing, presenting them horses, training them, and everything else. He's done from a long line of training. He has. I mean, he's doing a real good job. When he went to work for the breeders, I was, I was real enthused over that because I thought he was a great addition. But I guess the, the love of the horse just kept drawing him back to the farm. Yeah. He's doing a good job. He's doing a real good job. Him. Real good. Right here, Jimmer. Jimmer, te te tequila cash. I love that name. Yes. Boy, can you, can you picture just leaning back and having a <laughs> tequila and a lemon? <laughs> tequila cash. That's Carol again on a real good horse that she has. She got a bar and pull up, no doubt about it. And that's it. like I said before. You know, them horses that she have and where she got them trained at down there in Mississippi, you know, they don't get to show that much. Yeah. They come up here. They come up here and show. That's a good trip, too. I tell you what, I, I think that, that Jake's got the top leg on this. this oh, year. yeah. I really do. Because he's got a, a, a real true good world grand champion that's going in that amateur canter class. And that horse don't, don't mess up. I no. mean, he's, he's consistent as the day is long. They've got special plans for him, though. Him and Jake go, go good together. Yeah, they do. Jake is another one that loved this horse business. Oh, Lord. Or something like that. And real, yeah. and you know, him, he and Kyle Ensel have uh, started them a business together. Yeah. They're going to be doing the dumpster. I'm Charlie Black and Dahlia Smith Hall. And you're talking about a walking pony. Oh, yeah. That's a nice pony right there. Dahlia's a real good person, too. Oh, Lord, yeah. Now, she's an equine vet. Yes. Mickey McCormick's daughter is going to be an equine vet. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
good horse. Getting it done. I like one to sweep like that behind right there. Oh, I mean, yeah. You just don't miss a lick. Just keep it going. And right here, I've always loved this oh, yeah. since the first time I saw it. Me too. Born a Maverick. There you go, that's another real good one that Bob have. Well, Bob's got a born. He got a bunch of good ones. And the ones that ain't good yet are getting good. Yes. <laughs> He enjoys himself. He enjoys showing. Oh, yes, he, he does. He enjoys himself at the horse shows. Now. He enjoys people. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you. Earl Smith. That kind of close, ain't Yes, it? that is very close. That's a real nice horse right there. Courtney does a good job on that horse. I mean, this was a horse that, that come out walking. Yeah. First time yeah. we ever started him, I mean, he come out doing his thing. Well, I'm gonna give you a little plug right now. Uh, that's one that you sold, started yes. and sold. And there's another one that you worked with that, that's in the winter circle now. Yeah. I always say it's sand. I can look through muddy water and see dry land. <laughs> and when I seen that horse as a coat, that's why I told everybody that this horse one day will be a champion. The Char Queen. I tell you what, BB does a good job of showing that horse. It really does. Amateur four-year-old Marion Gildan. Yeah. Reserve winner. Oh, yes. Yeah. She was in a very competitive class yes. and was in another one this weekend. Mm -hmm. This weekend, she got the nod. Them young ladies have really come on on this showing these horses now. They have. And they didn't want a whole bunch of, a bucket full of blue ribbons. You know, they, they really support each other too. Yeah. Right here she is, I sang Dixie, Ali Joe Jacobs. You six to eleven winner. See what that that matter right there is. Looking good. She's looking good, and every time you see her, she keeps getting better yeah, and better and better. Well, it's just like Allie Joe. Yeah. You know, this weekend she showed in every division from the halter class to the medallion class to the performance. Class. Yes. Every class, all three disciplines, buddy, she was in there. And she shows flat shot yeah. too. Man, Allie Joe riding so well now at her age. Just think here another 10 or 15 years from now. I mean, she's going to be better than oh, she, She'll be something else. Right. This is another good horse right here, Rocky Top. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's a good one. Lily Ridley and the Allen Ridley family. Old Rocky Top. This is another one. It ain't the horse. Well, I like the horse too, but that little girl. I remember when she was real little, riding in front of me on a horse. Well, out there. Oh, Rocky Top's headed to the College World Series. Yeah. And this was his heading to the World Grand Champion of Tennessee <laughs> Celebration. Yeah, I believe you are. I believe you're right. Yep. It might be Rocky Top's year. <laughs> I'll tell you, it could be. Joe Paul. And that was a heck of a class. Yeah. Good horse, too. That is a real good horse. They, they both look good on that horse. I both you, of them. I really like that horse right there. That horse got a, got a gait to him that's, you don't hardly see too much in the world. No. He, he's got, he a, got a good gear. Wall. Yeah. Unreal. He got a good gear. I say that horse will make a good breeding stud horse. If he oh. put that walking shape to them horses like he well, does. They, they got him yeah. out for breeding. You can, you can sure buy a stud fee on him. If you don't believe it, just call Shane. He'll tell you right quick you can buy one for him. And that, that horse right there will put a flat walk on Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right there, I mean, that's what you that's what you look for a horse to do right there is walk smooth walk, like that. smooth, shake. Yeah. Get it done. 
Spotlight on Jose. Now, this is one we talked about it improves so much from yeah. this two to three year old. Yep. Year. That's a nice horse. Every time you see this horse, he just keep better and better and better and better. Uh huh. Just keep getting it. Last year, everybody had one eye on him. This year, we got both <laughs> eyes on him this year. So now they're looking they're at him twice. They're looking at him twice, that's right. They ain't taking him for granted, no, I can uh, tell you that. I'm just wondering if old Bob's going to end up on him. Yeah. Right here's I'm Big Enough, Maxine Beasley, for Beth Beasley. That's the sewing machine sewing right machine, there. Yep. Every time you see him, he's doing that same lick, and I'm going to tell you, and he will beat you doing that right there. When everybody else messed up, you're going to look at him, he's going to be doing that same gear. He's going to be flat walking and yep. talking. What's those saying? you got to walk the walk and talk the talk. Yep. Well, he does it both. He does do that. That four-beat gate, and here we go. The Cookie Girls. Yep. Cookie lady. They got a new recipe out. See, you don't know about that one. Nope, I, I heard don't. about that when we ate the other night. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, we're going to have to get one. Yeah. Here's a country lineman. I tell you what, I thought this horse made a great job. Yeah, that horse made a real good job. I'm going to tell you, Beth and them have a bunch of good horses, too. Well, I mean, they me have them. She does. And she's got the girls to ride. Right, too. Dude, that's right. It's a family affair. I keep, I told her the other day she needed to get a pony. Yeah. That way all three of them can show against each other in the pony class. Right here, four more line. I love that horse. Yeah, we seen that horse earlier. Yep. Going on, but now I'm gonna tell you that horse there is a, he's he's a true walking horse too. Beautiful too. Now he he will probably fall in line with Jimmer and, and make a real good breed yes. to it. Mm -hmm. I believe he's still stood. Yes, he still stood. I'm thinking he was. Now he's got everything. He does. Right there, my brother in arms. Thomas is, is he's getting some good ribbons at every show. That's right, goes. Thomas is doing it. I'm going to tell you, he, he's doing real good. I know Missy and Tim are sure pleased yeah. with him. Job. And here's Zaro Jr. I tell you what, this horse right here. I just I just like that horse. Yes. I really do. I really do. Uh, a lot of times he doesn't get his just due. But as far as being a good walking horse, yeah. he, he is one of them. Beth does a good job showing Beth does a real good job. All right. Well, that I'll tell you what. Fun show as far as oh, I'm yeah. concerned, it had an outstanding it show. It did have a real good show. Yeah. But if you do your thing, we will uh, get started with some more. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. 
just want to be to know KBB Voted Subaru Best Overall and Most Trusted Brand. Once again, ACSI also named Subaru number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Subaru number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Subaru and see what being number one is all about. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had, since the last time you were here. To old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you want to be. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida, and now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you money on your communications. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax-deductible donation as fast as a 501c3. And be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. Jerry and I was just talking and you came up with it. Family affairs show. show. Mm -hmm. that's, cool. that's family affairs. That's a class. Yeah. Be, be like am am. Am am. But be family members. Yeah. And, and I got just one. Karen Calloway first way. Alan Calloway Cal second yeah, way. Yeah. That's right. Beth Beasley one way and one of her daughters was the, the second, second way. way. Mm -hmm. If we could keep going, Mickey McCormick and Drew <laughs> and Drew. That's right. Hey, th this could be that. That would be a. Uh, if I help anybody do a horse show this year, I'm going to ask them to do a family affair class because I think that would be outstanding. But we got video. Columbia had a great show. Now they really did. Oh yeah, they had a good show. Slim and Hot and Robert Dort, your amateur four-year-old stallion winner. Now I tell you, Robert, he he loved these horses too. Right. Now I tell you, he's a he, he told me, he said, Jerry said, I got me another park performance horse. He was tore up. He said, pretty good, too. Pretty good. I told him the other night, I said, you're right. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. He's pretty good. That's a good horse. He just wants to have fun. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that, that's Robert right there. Robert been in this business for a long time, yes, too. he has. And had a bunch of good ones. And still got a bunch of good ones. Oh, yeah. Good horse right there, and he just keeps getting better. Right here's a hidden gem in Tanner Burke for Shane Porterfield. I'll tell you what, now this one was bought for Shane's granddaughter. Okay. That she's going to end up with this horse. Tanner's another young trainer that's coming up that's doing yeah. real well. He's doing real well. Real well. well. Right, old oh, yeah. Now, this horse right here, he speaks for himself right here now. He's got a lot of attention. He got, people, yeah. people still going to that video we put on YouTube. They're tearing it up. Now He, he put on a show, and, and Allison did a great job. Now, I always say, now, you talking about looking from side to side, you have to look side to side, look over his, you can't look over the top of his head. No, no. You looking between his ears, you looking at the sky. <laughs> Well, he's taller than her. She's sitting yeah, that's on the back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, 
That horse have a powerful way of going. Yes, he does. He truly does. The troubadour. Old troubadour. Yeah. Right here, Cousin Bob. I'm going to tell you what. That's a good horse. Tell me about it. I think he looks great. Yep. Shane, he getting a bunch of good horses too. He, he got a good, he's, he's I'm got, telling you, he's, he's got a good eye. Yep. He, he finds them good ones. Once again, Tanner does a real good job, job presenting them horses and everything. Tanner went from being a golfer to a professional horse trainer. <laughs> That's it. Hey. I was tickled to death with this right here because yes. I thought Molly and, and Art One just put on a great show. They did a real good job. Now that's a flat walking pool right there. Yeah. Just get it done. He's so steady and smooth. Yeah. That that's what I mean. Everything's going together. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Take a look at our blue ribbon winner coming down the north. I wheel. think they call that precision. Yes. He, and he, he does. I mean, he just head shape, leg, everything just right there together. Right here, the medalist and Eli. Hey, ah, uh, that's a good combination right there. Now I'm gonna tell you, Eli. Eli is a man. Eh? He's a man. Now he's a, a good horseman. You know, when we look to our future, we always look at Eli and look, look at Allie and Joe. Joe yeah. and, there, there, and there's a ton of kids out here, but I'm going to tell you one I was impressed with, and he showed again this weekend. That's Bentley Bomb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They said, lead lad, don't give me the, yeah. <laughs> give me the range. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go show. But Eli, I'm going to tell you, he's a. Every time you look at him, that, that young man's get better and better on showing. Yep, he does. I mean, he's he can ride a well, horse. He, work, he works at it. Yeah. Right here, honor and remember, and Dan Waddell for Kim Lewis. That that look right there, that specialty class. Yes. That was full of good horses. They said they're breeding him a little bit too. I say he should make a good one. Yeah. I would think so. You don't never know until you try it. That's a fact. I like his way of going. I yeah, mean, he, he I do like, too. Bam, 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 bam. Out there, the paddock master and Kenny Smith. For Smith and Hard. Kenny's a amateur owned and trained specialty winner. Kenny does real good on training them horses himself. He does. Uh, he does a good job at it. He, he, he trains a lot himself. Shane Porterfield does Trust, too. Yeah, trains a lot himself. A lot of these guys that, that are owners, if, if you go out there and look at their barn, they got horses out there, they train. You know, back in the day, that's what it was a lot of, I amateur and train. That's all there was. Yeah. Well, that's People really had cool. a job and trained horses in the afternoon, you know, just yeah. kind of worked on them. You just have a good time. Yeah. Enjoy that's yourself. What that's what it's all about. Right there's my honeybee. It's a good one right here. I, I love that mare. Yeah. Now, I can't help it. My honeybee. Taylor good, does a good job too. She's a real oh, good Lord. rider. I mean, she's her and a she mom. She does a real good job. That's another one you yep, can put in that class. A, that's another one we put in that class. We're yep. going to come up with a bunch of them. I would say Debbie Eichler and Frank, but Frank won't ride. Right. <laughs> Frank won't ride. Right. I'll tell you what, I like that mirror right there. Yeah. And Beach Bomb Bruce. Now, right there is one. We Bob and his brother really? Charlie. That's right. Now, they can do it. This is a nice horse right here, yes, too. It is. 
Bob, Bob, he's, Bob he's, good. he's a super good guy. He, he, he furnishes us a lot of video when, when we're not able to go to a show in certain areas. He, he's good right, enough to loan us video and Bob super good. Bobby, you keep winning, buddy. You making my he making that horse mama look that much more valuable. <laughs> keep winning. That's it. I got her mama. I got his mama. Keep winning. That's one way of looking at it. That <laughs> yeah, really is. Bob Adcock. Hey, here's Bob Adcock again. Honored in Texas. That's a big horse. Yeah, it is a big horse right there. And, and you, you can't look over his, his head, head either. either. I asked Mr. Bob that the other night, and he said, no, you can't look over his head. I got to look to the side. <laughs> yeah. That's a no when you're looking up into the sky, up there to the, yes, to the moonlight, and you're riding at night. Piece of work now. I tell you what, with, with the circumstances in the inspection area, the way they are, and the way they they scrutinize horses, and we can still have a show like this, yeah, speaks a lot for the trainers. Oh yeah, a whole lot right. for the trainers. Right here, she is on switchblade. Now she has worked hard on this. Yes, she has. That's a whole lot of horse for yep. a little girl. Jake told me she'd been working on her strength getting, to get stronger. And right here is one of the main reasons. Yeah. But you know, you're talking about the, the inspection, though. Mm -hmm. It was a different BMO at this show than it was at the last shows. Yeah. And this one, they say, wasn't as bad as this one that's yeah. the last one. Now, that's true. Yeah. It is, I'm going to tell you, it's it, things we've, as an industry, we have to look at. But one thing that, that we really have to do is we have to insist the USDA go by the HPA. Yeah. If they're going to do what they're doing, we ought to make them follow the law. You're, you're exactly and if right. they can't follow the law, then they're breaking the law. law. It's mm -hmm. simple. Simple as that. All right, we're going to go to the amateur youth. I'm going to tell you what, this was a good, good thing to yeah, come up was, with. It, it was. really was. But right here, I'm going to make this, this right here, she was reserved. But there's, a, I look at this a lot different than a lot of people do. Look how well trained that horse is. Oh yeah, is. that's a beautiful horse. Now that horse is, is trained, uh, you got an eight year old girl out there with a horse like that, that big yeah. a horse. And he's standing there doing exactly what he's supposed to do for that little girl. Yeah. Now you, you can see over there, Laurie Toon did a fantastic job with this horse. Oh, yeah, done a real I mean, good she job. She really did. But, I mean, that's what you call training, and that's, you know, that's he it. trained that horse. She trained that horse for that young lady to go out there and, and that horse that. was in. Yeah. And that, that's not easy to get these horses to park out and do that. Yeah, it's not. And here's the country lineman in B.B. Beasley for Beth Beasley, your youth pony winner. I'll tell you what. He put it on a good show. Oh, yeah. I talked it on a real good show. Greg and I talked about what a good show she made. And say they got a new recipe. I'm going to have to talk yeah. to them about that. Say, hey, baby. Let me see, let me see one of them cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll get one of them. They'll let me have one. Here's your amateur three-year-old stay in class. This was an outstanding class. Yeah, it was a good class. But you can't, you can't, you couldn't knock who won it. Jose's desperate man and Ca Grease Mills. Ca Grease. Caress, choking. Caress Heineman for Tommy and Nancy Mills. Limbaugh, Janie Chapman. Hawk on the loose, Jerry Sizemore. Charlie Woods, Ronnie Logston, and Ben Amati. Ben Amati, that's a good name. Yeah. And Scott Baker. But Jose's Desperate Man and Caress Heineman, outstanding, no that's, doubt about it. Uh, Caress does a good job. I'm gonna ask her who named that horse, because they always, they come up with some good names. Well, for the now, horses right I there. was told that Tommy came up with this horse, that he saw the horse, and that, that that's the one that he, 
kind of picked out. Yeah. So, I don't know who's going to get the credit part. But I'm talking about the name. They come up They, they come up with names mm -hmm. on them horses and good ones. Oh, they do. Yeah. That desperate man. Right there he is, Jose's desperate man in Caress Heineman for Tommy and Nancy Mills. Caress does a good That's job. That's a nice horse. That is a nice horse, real nice horse. Congratulations to him. Right here, your youth lemon underclass. Yakety Yak and Eli Cunningham took the blue in this class with Honorette and Elliot Way reserved in the High Line, Turner Parker. And I'm supposed to tell you, yes. Mr. Uh, Williams said that uh, you had to pay half of this ad. <laughs> you know, that part, good, no, he said that part of the deal when part. you sold him yak and yak <laughs> that you, you'd pay half half the half the bill. You tell him he keep winning like that, I'll pay the half the bill. <laughs> He's making me look good. <laughs> now I can sell a good horse. <laughs> oh, that's a nice horse right there. I'm gonna tell you that. I'm so proud for him on that horse, proud for myself, so I don't have to tell, listen to Mr. Wilson saying that I sold him a no-count horse. <laughs> well, i tell you what, Alan really likes this horse. Yeah. He told me, he said, we can get him in the show ring like he is at the barn. I said, well, you got the rider. Yep. And they do. And that horse put on a heck of a show. The horse did make a nice show. I'm so proud for him. Well, see, he bought that for Britain. Yeah. Eli's already taken it away from him. Uh -huh. <laughs> And, and David told me, he said, this year, he said, just like I am, he said, your grandson says you ain't selling, you ain't selling. <laughs> Good ride. That's it. He did. I thought he did fantastic. First ride, time he so. ever showed that horse, yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell you. And I'm going to tell you. I told him when we walked by me, I yeah. said, that's not bad for your first time, buddy. <laughs> Eli's a good kid. Yeah, he he really is, is a good kid. That's a nice horse. Mm -hmm. Right here, show pleasure. I, I called this, I tagged this horse from the start when he come in to show he's putting on to John O. Yeah. And Daniel Smith for Larry and Elsie West. Hey, what more can you say? Into the wild blue yonder and Harpy, Harper, Harper, Harper Lorance, Lorance, that's Lowlands, took the was reserve. That's, that's Shane Porterfield's grandson or granddaughter, Harper. That's a good name. Yeah. Cute name. And Shane Porterfield. He's he's not at hot as fire. John Garrett Burton was third. And I am Boone Grave was fourth. Into the wild yeah. blue yonder. They made a good job. Made, yep. Yeah, they did. Maybe to John O and Daniel Smith. A young man, he sits a horse very well. Oh, he does. He does. He gets it done. He does get it done. I told his grandmother to cut that hair. He looks like a horse trainer. <laughs> it really does. Nice little horse. Yes, it is. Daniel's a good kid yeah, he too. Is. Now he he is. I I see him out, and he's a uh, very polite. Yeah. <clears throat> Amateur youth park performance. Now this is both of them together. Yeah. And as Robert said, he said, Jerry, 
I bought me a park performance horse that he's pretty good, and he is. Yeah. Draw a line, and mm -hmm. Robert Dortch took the blue. I am, you know, Will Cole, and that is a good one, buddy. Yeah. Dr. Cooper, Larry Mullinex, and Crimson Coach, Jamin Smith finished out the ribbons. But it was Robert and draw a line to the blue. Yeah. Well That's deserved, nice. too. Yeah, well deserved. Yeah. That's a nice horse. I thought he made a great they show. They had some good horses in that class. Yeah. That, you know ain't no slouch. But uh -huh. right there is Robert but, now. I'm yeah. going to tell you. But like I said, Robert shows a bunch of good horses. He does. And draw a line and Robert Dortch. It's hard to beat them when you, when you got one just walking and moving yeah, forward, that's just right. going, just going. On the rail now, making their blue ribbon ride is entry number 882. Draw a line, and Robert Deutsch, owner and rider for I'll tell you what, I like that horse. Oh, I like that horse. Real nice horse. I tell you what, the lighting over there makes it rough on video. Yeah. Right here, Youth Championship. This is one that, that Maxine showed out in. Yeah. Quite an honor, look at there. Quite an honor, and Maxine Beasley took the blue for Beth Beasley. I'm a Dixie Diva, and Marie Beard. Irony, Skylin Wilson, Shady Black Betty, Cole McCormick, and Oh My Black Betty, Madeline Smith yeah. finished out the blue. I tell you what, that old my black bed is a good horse. Yeah. That's a good horse right there. Yeah, it is. Quite long. It's a big, pretty horse. Big, pretty horse. Got big wheel going. Yep. Hard to beat a good one. No, it is. Good horse. Right here, amateur youth. Now this is this is something like we was having. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you the horse that won this class. I thought it was outstanding. <clears throat> Tea time, Charlie. Allie, Joe, and. Jacobs and Jake Jacobs took the blue. Jose today, Taylor Lee Gate, Mackenzie Davis Waddell, Darlin Dirty, Leanne Deaton, and Lelaney Landon. I'm a jazz master, Samantha Green and Georgia Hazelwood, and Eastbound and Down, Harper Lawrence, and Shane Porterfield finished out the ribbons. Now see. It, this right here, every one of these except Dylan Dirty and three out of the five in this class right here would be the family affair. Yeah, that's right. Right there is your winner, Tea Time Charlie and Allie Joe Jacobs. And he, Jake done told me that she done took that in away from him too. <laughs> Can't get ahead when you got a kid. Nice horse. They're gonna take everything you got. One of my grandsons took my boat. The other one took my guitar. <laughs> Real nice horse. That is, boy. That's a pretty thing too. That's pretty good. I told yeah. I told Jake, I said, you lost it to a good person. That's Boy, right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> He'll stay in the family. <laughs> All right, it's up to you now. We'll be right back after these messages.
Well. Well. During the 2024 breeding season, you will find one of the top stallions in the walking horse industry, I Am Mighty Jose, standing at Precious Memories Farm in the heart of walking horse country. Call Daniel Miller at 931-703-5830 to schedule your mare. Breeding fee is $750, live foal guarantee. Multi-mare discounts are available on request. I am Mighty Jose, a consistent winner in both open and amateur competition. So make that call today to start the process of raising a Tennessee walking horse champion. The Tennessee walking horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee walking horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee walking horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee walking horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you'll own one tomorrow. That's a fact. Folks, this is where you send money to help in the legal fund to combat the new proposed rulemaking that the USDA released here a couple weeks ago. This is tax deductible donation as fast as a 501c3 and be sure to put legal fund on your memo line as this guarantees that your money goes exactly where you want it to go. More of What a Horse coming up. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back. We got a little special video that we're going to show because a lot of people didn't know this, but we had a group of ladies that come in here, and it's these ladies right here. They're cancer survivors. Alapeca cancer survivors. And there they are, everybody's bowing down, they don't want to be on camera. But these ladies, they came to the horse show, all of them are cancer survivors, and they wanted to come and support the Cancer Foundation. I thought that was just super, super thing to do. But we enjoyed, I went over and met a bunch of them, They're a bunch of good ladies. Finally. That's a good deal. Yeah, that's, that's, it is. I mean, it is. They left yeah. there and went to Uncle Nears. Yeah. And I, they probably had a better time out there. <laughs> it would, wouldn't have been hot inside that air conditioner. Yeah. Right here, Allie Joe and Da Hoff. For the Jacobs family. I like it. Da uh, da Hoff. Da Just make room because here it comes. Da Hoff. These were from the cancer show. Tell you what, they had a, I mean, a good show. They had a real good show. We, we had a good shows this weekend. Yeah. But even under the circumstances, that was the bad thing. They're just under the circumstances. Hey, Jerry, we got one that uh, showed and, and broke his foot off, took the gate. We still got six places. They wasn't giving but five. Yeah. <laughs> so, I thought that was pretty good. Here was your Pro-Am. Dorrell took the blue. Samantha Green and Gwen Wilson. I'm the Alamo. Barbara Corbett, Bill Calloway, and Graphite. Lucky Collins and Brandon Gibbons finished out the ribbons, but it was Dorrell. One of Virginia Stewart's yeah, horses. A good horse. That was a good class. That Dorrell horse is a real nice horse. Hey, he is. Samantha Green and Blake Wilson are your exhibitors for Evergreen Walking. 
Rocket Horse Farm, Bell Buckle, Doral, and Samantha Green and Blaine Wilson. Good job. Yeah. No fun. Do you want to watch Flat Wall? Oh, yeah. Flat Wall. Well, I hope Gwen. Oh, yeah. Guido. He's a good one, ain't he? Title defense in Samantha Green. That's a, that horse there, there you go again. You know, yep. he's a nice horse. Well, all delivery family members. Title defense in Samantha Green. Evergreen walking horse barn. You know, that horse continues to oh, yeah. win. He's in the winter circle a lot. Looking good. And here's Zorro Jr. and Beth Beasley. That class right there had three of the best horses yeah. at the show. Yeah, it did. They had three outstanding horses. I told them I'd, I'd hate to have to tie that class. Oh, yeah. That's, that was a good class, real good class. But that, that Zorro Jr., he was outstanding. And that's not taking nothing away from the other two, because yeah. the other two horses were great, too. But. Zorro Jr., he, he made a fantastic show. Made a real good show. I thought so. I, I really thought so. I'm just, I just wish that things could have been a little bit better for the Cancer Foundation. Yes, me too. And it, it, these inspections are just getting, well, it, it, people just need to watch and go back there and watch what's going on and they will understand what these trainers are going through because they look at their horses, they say, yep, he's good, let's go to the show, and then they get there and they come up with something that's not even an HPA violation to turn them down on. You exactly right right there. And you exactly, exactly right. I mean, right. a girth rub. And, and I've seen them turn them down for a, where the tail set rubs are. One yeah. Of. I mean, they. it's just, if you're going to enforce the law, enforce the law, don't in, invent ways to find someone out because all you're doing is is hurting the hpa was formed to help that's right the usda was supposed to help the industry and they're they're like assassins running around trying to destroy everything and it just i don't know it just irks me to no end that we've got a government that's allowing it to go on yep so it it it, it, it just not right for what they're doing and maybe Maybe eventually with what's going on now is a change. I hope so. Wish everybody good luck this weekend, and we'll talk to yeah, you. Be safe. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm gonna be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.